All right. Well, they're making water conservation fun. And joining me this morning is Sean Nakamoto with the Board of Water Supply to talk about the Zero Escape Garden. And you brought in something that a lot of folks don't have this summer, and that's <laughs> green plants. So let's talk about sure. what you brought in. Well, this is an example of what they call a mini terracotta, terracotta garden, and it features plants that we call unthirsty. So these are succulents and you know cactus, things like that don't require a lot of water and pretty easy to manage. So this um, this is one of the prizes that we're actually going to give away on Saturday at our plant sale from 93. So let's talk about this event that's coming up. Uh, it's an event where folks can learn about how to use these plants yes. uh, in mm -hmm. their own gardens and what it takes. Uh, mm -hmm. To grow them. What other things can they learn? Well, they can learn about um, their escape methods, you know, the types of plants that they can use. Um, there's also techniques that they can use to have more efficient landscaping. So, in other words, you can have aquaponics, you know, to if you have fish that you raise, for example, you can use that water to, you know, water your garden. And um, there's the rain barrel catchment system. So, we do teach those workshops. So, there's a variety of workshops that we're going to be offering. There will be um, numerous plant nurseries as well that will be selling their plants. And there will be lots of free activities for the cakey. So the whole event is free this Saturday from 9 to 3. And it's always interesting uh, because folks might go, you know what, I don't have a lot of plants. Mm -hmm. I only have a yard. <laughs> uh, and so uh, I don't need to worry about that. But it turns out the lawns take up more yes. than mm -hmm. a whole yard full of plants. For it, on average, single family home, um, a water bill is about 30% of that is outdoor water use. So by using Xeriscape methods, you can actually reduce your bill anywhere from 30 to 80%. And I know that you have this uh, just in a little pot, but uh, they can actually landscape their whole mm -hmm. yard Absolutely. and still uh, mm -hmm. come out ahead as far as saving mm -hmm. water by and doing this. And when you come to the Halava Garden, you'll see that you know these types of plants exist all over the place, and it's really quite beautiful. Giving some folks some good tips mm -hmm. there on these. Uh, very warm and dry <laughs> summer days. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in. Again, tell us when this is going to be taking place. It's going to be this Saturday from 9 to 3 p.m. It's a free event and it's at our Halava Zara's Cape Garden, sponsored by the Board of Water Supply and the Friends of Halava Zara's Cape Garden. So it's out in the Halava Late Industrial Park. Fantastic. And they can always stop by the gardens just to check things out even when things um, aren't going on? The garden is open on Wednesdays and Saturdays and you can come up, come by and check it out. All right, fantastic. Well, thanks for coming in and talking with us. and. Making our, hopefully making our yards a little greener. Yes. And we'll have an Instagram contest this year, so it's going to be a lot of fun, and this will be one of the prizes. Fantastic. Thanks for coming Thank in. Thank you.